You can dance if you want to. Here. How's that song go? You can dance if you want to. You can, oh, you can leave your friends behind. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. But if your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, then they ain't no friends of mine. Do you not know that one? I mean, I butchered it, but <laughs> you must know that one. The first kill goes to me. I am pulling everything. Just pull it all. And skadoosh. They all drop dead. Wait, none of them drop dead. Okay, one, two of them drop dead by my hand. Oh, some decent shoulders. So much. The reason why I love the melee class being not not all melee, but uh, paladins, warriors, and death knights is because they can wear all armor types. I mean, it's not good for them in normal stuff, but in everything else, it is fantastic. You just killing everything? It looks like you're just kind of killing everything. Okay, cool, cool. You don't have to kill me, just, you know, go ahead and do your thing. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going. And getting stuck on railings, wow. Let's see, we got, I think this is a boss down here? Is it? Maybe? We don't need to go all the way over there, I don't think. Yeah, I don't see anything over there. Let's see. Oh no, dudes. Goodbye, dudes. Instant heals. Wait, over, over where? Are you talking about, uh... Oh, come on, spell correctly. That way? Oh, towards you, okay, never mind. Oh, the instructor Raz Uvas. I remember him. I remember him when, uh... When you're doing the Death Knight starter thing. I always thought he was cool, but really kind of mean. Time to get punched in the face. Let's see if I can time this right. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like one of the quest dudes. He, he was the ones like, go pick up your sword. Go runeforge it. Go kill a prisoner that's not worthy of being a Death Knight. So you got into that little arena thing that looks like this. Yeah. It's it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've done it too. I've I made a horde death knight just so I could have that horde bike thing that came out this summer, this last summer. DK's time. I'm going to stick with my paladin. You can go DK if you want. But I I love my paladin too much. You don't want to go DK? I mean that's cool. You don't have to. I'm not forcing you. You don't like him? I would ask why, but it would be a little long for you to respond in text. So if you want to put me on follow, you can respond. Because I'm, I'm curious. But, uh... I, I like them, but at the same time, I just... I feel like they're limited. I mean, the warrior, I love the warrior. The only reason why I don't like it is because it doesn't really have very many self-heals. But this, you love your orc DK, but at the same time, you don't love DKs. Oh, those are some fancy pants. And the cape's alright. Alright, so... That was just... Oh, that was the first boss. I thought that was the last boss. Wow. You have the orb. What's the orb? Oh, robe. Oh, that makes... That makes so much more sense. <laughs> I was like, this isn't, uh, this isn't that Sunwell place. It has nothing to do with the orb of turning you into Blood Elves. Isn't these floating weapons, isn't that a, uh, a shout-out? Not a shout-out, but isn't that a, uh, what is it? A DK talent thing? That they can have floating weapons? That's what I thought. So, ladies and gentlemen, I know you're probably watching this thinking I'm just talking to thin air. Um, I'm actually going off of what she's saying in chat. So, 
If you haven't picked that up by now, which is a little sad, but <laughs> I'm not judging. Um, go ahead and rewind, just watch what she says in chat, and you'll understand what I've been saying. I will not shush. I will speak freely. Can I sneak by these guys? It's okay, evil. Oh, nope, nope. I can't sneak by them. There, right, get punched. Get punched, horse. Ah. Whoa. The horse just attacked me. And what do these shoes look like? Oh, not bad. Not bad for shoes. Yeah, they're not the greatest, but... Oh, he's the dude that drops my sword. Okay, Goric. Gothic? Yeah, Gothic. Alright. You pick... Yeah, you take that side. So... I can't really reach him without using a spell. So can I use a spell once to pull him? Okay, there. There. Now we're actually starting this. So this part is soloable. Uh, I've done it. I've done it on 10 man heroic, I think. I've done it on 10 man. Basically what happens is you just kill everyone that shows up here. No, I haven't done a 25 man. I don't have any of the achievements for that. But uh, basically you have, you just kill everyone that shows up on your side and you, you're stuck to this side because this is where he's at and you have to pull him here. And this gate instantly co closes when that happens. But uh, once you have killed everyone, it takes a long time. Eventually, it took me like 15 minutes for this gate to open up. And so eventually, it got to the point where the gate opened up and I could finally kill him. It just took a long time. So if you do this soloable, soloable, do this solo, uh, but you can go to the gate and get through. Like this. Okay. It pulls the ads from the other side. Really? See, the more you know. I didn't know that. It just took me a long time. It was it was one of those be patient things and it'll happen for you. But it was just like, really? I've been here for 10 minutes now. Do something. Punched the face. Oh, that was a lefty hook. Nice. Man, Ramus is good with his left hook. <coughs> so, I'm sorry for the sniffing. I'm dealing with some hay fever still. Hopefully it's going away soon. It seems to be really bad today. But, uh, it should be going away. It normally lasts just for May and June. But that's... That's just a minor thing. Ty is, has the, a right one. I don't know what you mean by L-I, but it's great to know that you have a good right hook. That might come in handy. Oh, you meant the 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 O face. The O face. The O. Oh, I just one shot you, dude. <laughs> oh, nice. You're you're a ghost. Oh, you're fighting the you're fighting all the ghosts of the people I kill. That sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry that you have to deal with all the souls of the people I kill. <laughs> That's rather unfortunate. I mean, I'm glad I don't have to re-deal with them, because, you know, I'm the one that made them a ghost, but it's unfortunate. One punch for you, uh, punch for you. Yay! Yes, you are a Ghostbuster. I'd say I am, but I'm, I'm making them into ghosts, so I don't think it really counts. But whatever you do, don't cross the streams. It's not safe, I hear. I don't remember the line. I don't remember why it's not safe, but just don't cross the streams. Alright, are you coming down here yet, Gothic? Mr. Harvester? I want my sword. So, those of you people who are familiar with uh, South Park, the sword I'm going for is the Sword of a Thousand Truths from uh, their episode Make Love Not Warcraft. Yes, he is a little sad. He can't come down. He wants to play, but he's not allowed to. And so that's the sword I'm going for. And the reason being 
is cause... Oh, nice, I see your reasoning. So he went goth, cause he's so sad. He's just full of emotions, man. Uh, so the reason being is cause originally my sword, which I have upgraded to the Primal Gladiator Hacker, is transmog to heavy copper longsword. And I like it. And I like how it sits on my back, like this. But, uh, it's, I wanted to upgrade. I wanted it to look cooler, I guess. I mean, having a sword like that on your back, it's cool. Just a simple little copper longsword. It's cool, but, uh, oh, nice. You're going down, man. Punch you in the kneecaps. Uh, I just wanted something with a little bit more heft to it, while still having it being able to be put on my back. So that's why I'm going for this sword. <laughs> Wait, can I use... can I use this in battle? Yes! Giant Ramus! <laughs> I think that might count as a spell though, because that increases my strength. So... Sorry. <laughs> no! He didn't drop it! <laughs> <laughs> All that work for nothing. That is a really cool looking harness. It's like a uh, some sort of you're going into the matrix. I'm gonna strap you in harness. Does it go with this? Wait, tunic of dislocation. They are the exact same. It looks like. Wait, no. Does it go with? Are you talking about does it go with your transmog? Oh, okay. Yes, I am very silly. Not on purpose, though. That is an accident. Did you make this pile of skulls? Holy cow. How many ghosts did you kill? And why do they have skulls? It's, yes, you. This pile right here. Did you do it? Are you too mighty for your own good? I think you are. You don't... I know you're shy, but that has nothing to do with not knowing what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this pile of skulls right on the floor, right in front of me. I think you made it. I think you put each one, one of the skulls there, and you had so many bodies you had to kill that you placed them all in their own little pile. That way, it was not in your way. I think that's what happened. My friend is very organized in her killing. <laughs> she likes a clean cell. That I can understand. <laughs> I can understand that. You don't want to be killing things and trying to survive and trip on a skull. You sorted them by color and size, huh? That at least you will know where they are. That's that's key. It's key in skull collecting. Always know where your skulls are. Let's see, can I hit them perfectly? Take them out. Bullseye. Always loot the cash. That's kind of a cool looking uh, cloak. I'm not really one for wearing robes, but uh, every so often is a cool one. You have, I have bad taste. I don't wear robes often, okay? Of course I'm gonna have bad taste in robes. That's where I play as a man. I don't wear robes. I don't wear a dress. Unless I lose a bet. And then I'll wear the most horrible looking dress out there. You're not manly enough for robes. I don't know how to respond to that. Because I am, but at the same time, I just don't know of any good looking ones. Do you even dress bra? <laughs> no, I just, I'm just naked all the time. Of course I dress. I just don't wear dresses. That's, that's the kicker right there. Do you even dress fancy? Ah, now that's the question. I do when it's called for. I don't wear a tuxedo every day. Actually, I don't even own a tuxedo. But I, when I can, I will dress fancy. I don't have the cash for a tuxedo. Here, punch in the face. Yeah. Hey, I saw that magic spell. You said fists only. I 
Nice, sir. You'll, you'll watch this on YouTube tomorrow when this is up. Or tonight. Whatever. It's my solo peak. Oh, it's a passive thing? Okay, yeah, I understand that. If it's passive, I can't fault you for it. I thought you were casting it. Yeah, take that, Baron Rivendar. I already took care of you once. Let's see here. Who's, like, hurting me? I mean, they're not doing any damage, but someone's definitely... Oh, Rivendar is doing it. Okay. I was gonna say, someone's definitely doing some serious crits on me. Hang on, I'm gonna light them up with my torch. I like his wig ears. Yeah, those are cool. That'd be a cool uh, helmet. I know what you're talking about. It's his helm. That'd be cool to have. Let's see, what would we get? Because I didn't get my sword. Which is sad. Yep, don't need it. Yep. Actually, that one's for you. The chest guard of the Lost Vanquisher. That's for you. Creepy staff. Oh, that is creepy. It's got like a skull with... It looks like candles on it. I don't know. It's kind of creepy looking. It's a candle holder? Oh, come on. That's not cool. You've already killed the dude and put his skull on a stick. If I make his head into a candle. You're keeping it? Alright. Let's see here. Uh, you picked the last one. We did Arachnid and Military. I'm thinking Construct. What do you think? Alright, Construct it is. 